This is Harvester Ed Laflamme from the East Coast, and I'm going to talk to you today about all those employees that will soon be having their first day with you. You know, I wrote this book, Green Side Up, and in the book I cover part of that. This is in part three, chapter three about people. Um, I started the chapter saying that great companies are made up of great people, that attitudes are formed during that first eight to nine hours on the job and you want them to be really positive. Statistics show, however, that most of the new hires don't get treated right, not just in landscaping, but in general. They have, they have bad feelings right from the start. And you know, many, of, many have residual job offers and applications out, and you know what happens? They jump ship if they don't like your company. And then you wonder, huh, I wonder what happened to, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened, they went to someone else. So let's be conscious of how we treat our new hires. When they report to work the first day, don't have them wait for a half an hour or an hour or longer uh, just because you or your manager has to get organized. If that's the case, have them come in later. And don't just say, good morning, you're on truck 12, have a great day, and they're off. That's not onboarding. And don't let them come in at the end of the day with no one to greet them, to ask how their first day went. Remember, these folks, when they get home, the first question their parents or significant other are going to ask them was, you know what it is, right? How did your first day go? What are they going to say? Went great or, hmm, you don't want the or. So, you know, I had a client call me and just in distress with a huge problem because he said that he hired two, three, and sometimes four people to start on a Monday morning. He does this week after week. And you know what? On the second day, half of the people weren't there. And by the end of the week, none. This happened for a while. He was frantic because he couldn't get his work done. So I asked him, was he doing any onboarding? No. So I told them to do the, the following things. First of all, you have to greet them in the morning when they come in. And if you can't make it, have someone assigned to them to meet them, introducing them around. Do a quick tour of the facility if they haven't seen it and introduce them to their supervisor. They should be told where they're going to be going that day and what they're going to be doing. In some companies, whether small or large, their first day is filling out paperwork, showing them around, a talk with the owner about how he started, uh, demonstrating the passion he's got for the work, and then they like to share their vision, mission, core values about the company, and then they're going to really understand the company better. Some companies then bring the, the new hire into the office, show them their handbook, and have them read it, because then that way they're going to know what the rules are and what's expected of them. This all may take a couple of hours at least, and then later, they take them out to their supervisor and they can begin work. Now, my client tried all of these. You know, the one with the problem? And you know what? Pretty much all those no-shows stopped. Boy, was he relieved. Another thing I would suggest is that you create a buddy system so that when a new person comes in, you introduce them to a buddy they can go to with any questions or complaints. This works like a charm if you have the right buddy. And please, make sure you take care of the buddy with a bonus for when he does this type of work. It's really important. The coolest thing a friend of mine in Oregon did was to create a video with him explaining all of the items I just mentioned. But he also had videos of the jobs they maintain and a number of the design build work they were doing as well. I mean, these are really cool. Many of the videos showed the company's people working on the jobs. And then, then he explained in the video what type of work they were doing, and he also showed awards that they had won on these jobs over the past years. He gave them a really clear picture of how they could climb the company ladder and improve themselves when they worked hard and applied themselves. Let me just read from you uh, from my book about this company, okay? This landscape company dedicated four hours to orientation. At the end of this time, new hires were given the company manual and sent home to read it. They were paid for a full day of work. Some would say this is a waste of money or they couldn't afford it. 
Well, I believe it's an investment in the future of your company and your people. I understand that many small owners, they can't possibly do this. But my recommendation is to do whatever you can. In your own way, make your employee's first day a great one. Okay, let me read the, uh, the four action items from my book. This will kind of recap what we've been talking about. Number one. Make the first day a positive one for every new hire. Two, create a process where all new hires are treated with respect and learn about the company. Three, tell your story to every new hire and be sure they're aware that, the, that you value your team members and their accomplishments. And four, be clear about your expectations and explain how new hires can advance in your organization. Okay, there you have it. This is Harvester Ed Laflam from the East Coast. But, oh, wait, don't leave yet. I've got a gift to offer for you. If you're the first one in the four different time zones in the US, and I'll include Canada, if you're the first one to, to email me requesting my book, I'm gonna send it to you free of charge. How's that sound? You'll be able to get green side up and you'll be able to check out all the resources uh, in, in this book, because this is like an operating manual on, on the business of landscaping. Okay, there you have it. 